Hey there, Primetime Zekians. Um, I'm Tommy Knoll, creator of the show and owner of Fish and Chips Entertainment. Um, I'm here to let you know on our second official episode of Primetime Zeke, which I also animate. I don't direct it, that's Spoggy, as mentioned before. And, uh, I'd like to show you that in good nature, um, this, uh, is Fan Appreciation Night, and we are here to dedicate this episode of Primetime Zeke to you. Hey, you have caught us on the Fan Appreciation Night. We have, uh, put together this little, uh, shindig, um, to show our fans and viewers how much they matter to us. So, uh, in order and according with that, we would, uh, we would like to accept a couple calls from the audience. All right, here. Yeah. Spoggy, we get them on the line. Our first call is going to be from lovely New Jersey. Hello? Um, yes, ma'am. You are on, uh, Primetime Zeke with me, Zeke Fitzgerald. Um, you mean this isn't Letterman? Um, uh, no, ma'am. This is not Letterman. Um, I'm uh, sorry, but, uh, I'm afraid you've reached the wrong number there. Uh, yes. Uh, do you have stupid pet tricks on right now? Um, uh, no, I don't think we do. Uh, I do not believe that we, uh, have that, uh, stupid pet tricks, uh, segment on the show. Um, well then, can you at least have a top ten list? Um, I'm, uh, sure we could, uh, yes, uh, you just, uh, you just keep your eyes fixed on that screen, and, uh, we will have ourselves a, uh, a good old-fashioned, uh, top ten list. Zeke's Zekiest Ten Random Things. Number ten. Beer battered spleen. Number nine. New core smell. Number eight. Rhinestone studded singlets. Number seven. Sedan sized lamb chop sideburns. Elvis, anyone? Number six. Melted snow in your shoes. Number five. The Appalachian dulcimer. Number four. A defective Rubik's Cube. Number three. Monkeys who've been trained to dance. Number two, annoying waiters. And number one, Biodome with the Baldwin who's not Alec. Hey there, Primetime Zekians. This is uh, Tommy Knoll coming back to you on the second official episode, Fan Appreciation Night. And uh, to coincide with that, we're gonna have a we're gonna take viewer mail, and the viewers are going to have certain stunts that they'd like Spoggy to perform. <laughs> Sorry, I meant somebody who isn't important. Socks. They have a uh, few stunts that they want Socks, the unpaid intern, to perform, and we're gonna have him do it on primetime live television! Alright. Television! Oh. Alright, go on with it. And that is the lovely Tommy Knoll, uh, director and creator of the show. Um, uh,. Now let's get back to business. Um, we are going to do the uh, call-in stunt thing very, very, very soon. And uh, but uh, first, I'd like to introduce you to a new member of the uh, Fitzgerald family. Um, uh, uh, well, um, his name's Baxter. And while we don't know exactly what species of animal he is, um, we have called him Baxter the Thing. So, uh, my new pet. Baxter, uh, bring him out, alright, just, just bring him out, just bring him out, come here, come here, okey pokey boo, come here there, come here, aw, oh, isn't it, isn't it just a, ah, 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 
Well, that was invigorating. And uh, now let's just uh, take calls from the audience. Uh, Spoggy, will you get that? Hello, it's me again. Oh, isn't it great just to hear from you again? Oh, oh, lady, you, you need to hear this woman. Oh, yes, well, then I would like Socks the Unpaid Antoine to perform. Okay, yes, please, uh, random caller who is not my mother whatsoever. I want to see him jump through three burning rings of fire over a pit full of hungry crocodiles. I want to win. I want him to jump over a large amount of bouncers to get me an autograph from the Barbara Streisand. Well, uh, I'm sure we could do that. Uh, let's make our way via satellite to the Dustin Hoffman Coliseum, where our cameramen have now set up to record Sox's death-defying leap. Is this thing on? Good. Mm -hmm. I'm standing out here, outside of uh, uh, Barb's plastic surgery, and uh, my friends up at the uh, studio have uh, decided that I, by your request, need to be uh, fixed up a little bit. So let's just, uh, they said they're going to do my hair, so let's just go with that. Um, uh, so, uh, where's the dopo? I think that uh, I'm done. Bob, can you bring me a uh, vanity mirror that I can look myself in? Hey, they did more than my hair. They changed my entire face. What am I supposed to do now? What will my fans think? Oh, they're the one who decided for me to get this done. So I guess, I guess we're fine. What this? It looks like they changed the entire place. A new desk, a new backdrop, a new mug. This looks fantastic. Looks, looks just, this just looks uh, great. Uh, it, uh, um, I wonder what we're supposed to do next. Dun. What to do next? Read a suggestion. How coincidental is that? Um, let's see. Have backs to the thing attack Socks the unpaid intern. Well, that is a fabulous idea. Hey, Socks. Yeah, boy. Ah, uh, will you do me a favor? Um, uh, say here, Baxter. Meow! Yeah. Ah!